guys welcome back to my channel it feels so good to be sitting down and chatting with you guys because I feel like it's been a while if you've been following me on Instagram then you know that I've been suffering from a sty it's been a few days now and it's finally starting to de-swell um, it's still a little bit swollen and irritated and red I don't know if you guys can tell so I'm not wearing any eye makeup today just because I don't want to irritate it further but I really wanted to sit down and chat with you guys cuz feels like it's been a while <laughs> I've actually just moved into my aunt's house in LA, so this is kind of my new setup for right now. It's still a work in progress. I really want to uh, make this kind of like my filming corner, and I really want to decorate it with some posters and maybe a plant. This is what it looks like for right now. If you guys know where I can get some really cute posters, leave a link down below and let me know because I really want to make this space uh, more inspirational and just lively. It's just really empty right now. For today's video, I just wanted to sit and chat with you guys, and I wanted to talk about my piercing. I have gotten a lot of piercings over the past few years. I think about 11 or 12. I wanted to share my experience with you guys and kind of go through what it was like, how painful each one was, and what the healing process was like. If you don't like piercings, then this video might not be for you. I like piercings, so I want to talk about them. I think they're really fun to get. Just another way to express your style. Before I talk about all of the piercings that I have, I wanted to talk about these earrings. En Route Jewelry actually sent these to me, and I love them. I think they're so cute. They actually sent me a few other earrings too. This is one of them. They're just so gorgeous. I love their jewelry so much. I think these are my favorite pair by far because they're just really unique. I will leave a link to their website down below if you want to check them out. They also gave me a discount code to share with you guys. So if you use the code Sandy, you'll get 20% off your order. Check them out because I really love their stuff and I think a lot of you might too. So Okay, so now we're going to talk about all the piercings that I have. I'm going to try to do this in chronological order from when I got them, just because, I don't know, I like that. Seems to make sense. First piercing I ever got was, of course, just your regular low piercings. I got them when I was two years old, so I don't remember that much, but I do remember crying at the top of my lungs, and um, I think I, I got it at the mall, and I think it was an Afterthoughts store. If you guys remember that, then we're from the same generation. That's crazy, because I think they're out of business now. I haven't seen one in, in years, but if you know what I'm talking about, let me know in the comments below. Because that is so old school. Oh my gosh, it's just giving me like 90s nostalgia. Anyway, um, so my mom took me to get my ears pierced and I thought it was really funny side story because I asked her like what made you want to get my ears pierced because I was really young and she's like, you're the one who asked me to get your ears pierced and you wouldn't stop asking me until I did it and I thought it was so funny because I was like, wow, even when I was that young, I was that demanding, but also at the same time, like, pat on the back for myself for thinking ahead. They pierced it with a gun, which I don't recommend ever. It's just really bad for your ears, and I think if it's not done correctly, it can actually change the shape of your ears and make them deformed. So just be really careful with that. Second piercing that I got was my tragus piercing, and this by far is my favorite piercing ever because I think it's just really cute and subtle. I don't know, I love it. I like it a lot. I got this done in, in college with my roommate, Kana. Uh, shout out to you, Kana. It's my favorite piercing, but it was also the most painful one. And Kana was telling me that when the piercer was doing it, it looked like he was drilling a hole. You know how after you get a piercing done or a tattoo done or even like a tooth removed or a cavity filled after it's done with you're kind of like oh that wasn't so bad like I was being such a baby it didn't even hurt it's not a big deal but the tragus piercing for me was just like no that hurt for sure healing took quite a while also the next piercings I got after that were these um, helix ones or cartilage ones I don't know I think they can be called both I got this a while ago with a friend who was getting her piercings done we went to a chain side note I will never recommend ever again I've just never had good experiences with piercing places that are also chains because uh, whether it's for a piercing or just to buy jewelry, I've just never had a good experience. And the store had just opened, so they were doing a promotion. I think it was one piercing for $10 or $20. I don't remember. I was like, why not? It's really cheap. I'll just do it. No big deal. And I wanted to get two because I remember seeing this on Jen from Head to Toe, and I thought it was really adorable. So I wanted the same thing. They're actually my least favorite piercings, to be honest, because of the experience that I had at that store. And just the healing process of cartilage piercings, I feel like it just never fully healed. 
world. And it's been a few years for sure. Anytime I talk to someone with um, cartilage piercings, they kind of have a similar experience where it's just kind of sore all the time. And it's definitely uncomfortable. Again, not my favorite piercing. Pain-wise, not bad at all. It's just a little pinch. After that, I believe I got my nose piercing. It was definitely painless, which was a surprise. The one thing that um, does happen when you get a nose piercing is you tear up quite a bit. It's just waterworks that roll down your face. I think what my piercer said is that it happens because of the way that some nerves are connected here that trigger something. Um, obviously, I'm not very scientific about it, but it's normal for your eye to just tear up. When I wanted to get this pierced and I was talking to piercers, a lot of them would not pierce me with um, a hoop, which is what I really, really wanted. They highly recommended I pierce it with a stud. I was wearing a stud for a really long time, which I personally don't like on myself. Eventually, I switched it out for this ring. I think I got it pierced with a 16 gauge or 18 gauge needle, and this ring is actually 20 gauge. So the higher the gauge, the thinner the earring or your piercing is. So this is actually a 20 gauge um, earring and it was so hard to find. <laughs> I looked everywhere and I actually bought some from Claire's that were thinner, but they're made out of sterling silver and it's just not good for me. <laughs> I definitely had an allergic reaction to it. I was way too sensitive to be wearing that kind of material. So this is actually, I think, stainless steel and I got it on Etsy. I'll leave a link down below to the seller I got it from. Um, she custom made this for me. I've had no issues with it. After that, I got this conch piercing. I also had to get a stud with this first and it didn't hurt at all. It was also just like a pinch. If you're planning on wearing a ring eventually rather than a stud, it's something that you should let your piercer know because I think they do pierce it slightly different based on what you want. I just switched it out to a ring maybe like last month and there was an adjustment period getting used to wearing a ring. It made my ear a little bit more sore. When I'm laying down on it, it's definitely being pushed up a little bit more than when I wear a stud. It's definitely better now. Okay, we are almost done, just a couple more to go. The one I got after that was my rook piercing. I want to replace it with a ring after it's done healing. Also not very painful. It was pretty easy. I don't remember having a hard time with it at all when um, I was getting it pierced. It is very sore however. I got it sometime last year. I want to say early last year actually. It's very sore still. I think it's in the final stages of healing but my entire ear sometimes would be really sore especially if I ended up sleeping on it overnight and it's sore around the rook piercing in the front. I also find that in the back of my ear, it gets pretty sore there too. Even now, it's, it's a little bit sore when I touch it. Otherwise, it's fine. After that, I got these low piercings and I got four of them um, at the same time, two on each ear. And it was such a whim. It was in November. I got off of work early one day and I was like, what should I do? Maybe I'll just go get piercings. Like I've been wanting them for a long time. So I walked myself to the piercer I mean, I didn't walk, I drove, but I went to the piercer on my own because I was like, this is so last minute, I'm just gonna go do it, it's not a big deal, and it was just so easy. Back to back, no big deal, and for these, I also had to get studs, but they heal really quickly. Loams are so easy. <laughs> so if you ever want something to kind of ease you into the pain of getting something else, maybe try a low piercing. That's it guys, those were all of my piercings. If you've been wanting to get piercings, I hope you found this video helpful in some way. I will leave the link to, and just any resources that I have, I will leave them in the description box, like guides that I found um, online or like infographics. <laughs> I've done a lot of research. If you have any questions about piercings, leave them in the comments. I would love to help you answer them to the best of my ability. I'm not an expert. I love talking about them. I get really excited anytime anyone wants to get a piercing or a tattoo because it's just like another way for someone to express themselves. And it does take a little bit of boldness to do it. So I just get very like, oh, you're doing it? Oh my gosh. Actually, if you guys know places online that I can get jewelry, let me know because I've been hunting for so long. Yeah, um, that's it for this video. I hope you guys found it helpful. There are definitely more lookbook videos coming. I'm very excited about them. Um, it just takes a little bit of time. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys in my next video very, very soon. Bye!